I'm going to show you how to make a Hokkaido cake. It's also called a mini chiffon lava cake. Let's get started. For the cake, you need one cup cake flour, one third cup of sugar, one teaspoon baking powder, one half teaspoon salt, one fourth cup oil, four whole eggs separated, one teaspoon vanilla, one third cup full cream or whole milk, one fourth cup sugar, one half teaspoon cream of tartar. For the pastry cream, you need three fourths cup of full cream milk, two egg yolks, three tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons flour or cornstarch, one tablespoon butter, one teaspoon vanilla, one third cup of whipping cream. We'll make the cake. This is a chiffon type of cake. I have here flour. Make sure you sift the flour before you measure. Then one third cup of sugar. You have salt, baking powder, you can sift this again, but what I usually do is I just mix it with a wire whisk because I already pre-sifted the flour. And then next, we add in oil. Then we have milk and vanilla. Then we separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. You make sure that there is no egg yolk in the egg white. You can use an egg separator. If you're not sure your eggs are fresh, you separate it in another bowl. This one I'm sure because this just came from the poultry. Okay. To this, to the egg whites, we're going to add cream of tartar. All right, and let's put this here. Let's get this ready. We mix this one first. We mix the egg yolk mixture first. I just use a wire whisk. Some people use a mixer, but there is really no need to. Okay, you just uh, do uh, a few strokes until see it's very smooth. A guide uh, to make it smooth faster is always to add the oil first, and then you add in uh, the water or the milk, and then vanilla, and then the egg yolks. All right, see, it's very smooth now. So you set this aside. There is no need to whip this longer. Okay, then I have here egg whites with the cream of tartar. You whip this until the egg white starts to foam. Here, you can see it's starting to foam and then it's frothy now. We add the one fourth cup of sugar gradually. Remember our recipe had two sugars, one third will go to the egg yolk, one fourth will go to the egg white. In case you make a mistake and added it interchangeably, it's alright, do not worry. You still get the same uh, finished product, okay? What we're going to do now is we're going to whip this at number 8, not at the highest speed because we don't want to create very big bubbles. Very big bubbles uh, will burst faster, so your mixture will deflate. So we want finer bubbles because they're uh, stronger. Once again, I'm reminding you, no, don't whip it at the highest speed, okay? I'm just in the hand mixer you can beat it at the highest speed but in the kitchen aid just use number eight or number seven i usually use eight okay then we will check okay you'll see the egg whites are stiff but they are still shiny see it retains its shape whatever shape it is okay and then just take note it should still be shiny all right then we will fold this over the egg yolk mixture you can do uh, a small portion first like this this is how you fold you cut you go scrape the bottom go up and then cut again so this is the cut and fold method 
of course there are many ways you can uh, fold the uh, egg whites I have a tutorial on this on chiffon cakes you can check it out and then I will add you usually add this in thirds in three portions but this one is a small amount only this is like uh, just a cup of flour so we're just going to fold, uh, add this twice in two additions the egg whites so this is how you fold okay you can also do the figure eight hold the spatula straight and then make a number eight see okay like this and then because we're going to make hokkaido cupcakes or what they call the mini chiffon lava cake i'm using a number two uh two ounce you can use a three ounce if you want them bigger the size of my scoop is about you know one fourth cup i don't know the number because this is not original so i'm not sure about the number using the two ounce uh, muffin cups we were able to make 24 pieces all right so let's put this in the oven about 25 minutes I'm using about 320 degrees all right for about uh, we will check after 20 minutes okay let's make the pastry cream I have here sugar flour milk mix this together then I have here egg yolks. I mix together the egg yolks and the vanilla. We set it aside. I'll bring this to boil first. Look here. The mixture has started to thicken. So what I'm going to do is I have here the egg yolks. I'm going to add a small portion here. Where what we're trying to do is to temper the egg yolks so you don't overcook them and then we put this back here because if you don't temper the egg yolks you could get scrambled eggs okay and then we put this back cook it for one minute more I have here the butter Just one minute and this is ready. If you use flour, you might need to cook it a little longer. I'm using cornstarch so it's faster. Okay. So, it's thick now. So, this is ready. Okay. We will cool this. And then, we will add whipping cream to this. Okay. We transfer this to another bowl. And then you cover the top with plastic and cool this or if you're in a hurry use an ice bath okay what I do is I put plastic on top and then I put this in the refrigerator until it cools here it should be to the touch it means the plastic should touch the pastry cream so it will not form a crust all right so let's chill this and we'll get back to this later we will check this is after 20 minutes all right I think this is done uh, if you want it a little browner you can bake it for another five minutes but I think this is good so we can take this out and we will cool this Right. remember our pastry cream it's now cold and then this is our uh, whipped cream we're going to fold it in I'm just going to use a mixer because uh, this is cold it's easier in the mixer I whipped the cream earlier okay we will loosen that up a little bit before we add in the cream 
sorry. I'll add the cream first. here this is done so you will notice our pastry cream is now very loose I have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded you have a pastry bag and then this is what we call a filling tube which is called a Bismarck tube okay here you can see, you'll notice that it shrunk a little bit. This always happens to chiffon cake if you don't invert it. Because you know, we can't invert the cup, but that's all right because it's going to puff up when we put the filling, okay? That's perfectly all right. So here, twist the bag. And then what you do is, you pierce the center. And after you finish uh, putting in the filling, you sprinkle the top with powdered sugar. If you don't like your powdered sugar to melt, uh, use a uh, there's a brand of powdered sugar of I mean topping which they call uh, Snow White or they call it Bianca powder that one does not melt don't worry about the sugar on top because it's not sweet okay okay let me get one piece because I want to show you how it looks like okay here let's just tear this open see here. This is why they call this the mini lava cake. See, the filling oozes out. All right. You know it's very light. Mm, it's not sweet. I'm sure you're going to like it. 